Hello everyone, it's Jackie from Pretty Paper Crafts. I just thought, uh, firstly I'll apologise for not updating sooner. I've had a bit of a cold, which I'm now getting over. I am, like I, I previously mentioned, I am working on a fancy fold card again, but from now up until Christmas, things are going to be sort of hit and miss because I've got Christmas makes that I'm making myself. But when I upload something like this, I will show you if I've made anything special. Otherwise, the fancy fold is actually being made, but also a lot of other little Christmas things that um, I've been making myself. So anyway, this is today's tutorial. I've only made the one of them for obvious reasons, um, but I just thought it was perfect for people that or on crafting groups that do swaps or want to maybe send their crafting friends something um, crafty. It is an advent calendar card and it is just got little numbers. Now, there is a um, one similar to this on um, Facebook. I've converted this into a card, so it's like a card as well as an advent calendar. It does stand up, it's pretty on the back as well, and it is pretty on the front, hence, like I said, the card make. Coincidentally, look, wishing you a craft-filled Christmas and restful New Year. That's ideal for a crafter and for something like this. But it needs to go off now um if you're going to be sending it so you really need to knuckle down and do something this one i'm quite prepared to send to someone anybody that leaves feedback between now and sunday night at six o'clock hour uk time i will issue a number and then on monday morning i will put it in an auto numbering um thing on online and whichever number gets pulled out, I will send it. Just bear in mind that if you live abroad, quite happy to send it abroad, but it it might not get to you in time for the first. So when you do eventually get it, you may have to um, open a few boxes. Now, just for information only, this is what I put inside mine because it ideally is for a crafter. So it's mainly sequins and gems and little pegs. And there's a couple of little, you know, really special ones um, in there. But that's the type of thing that's in there. So if you don't want to be part of um, the, the draw to win this, then just leave feedback, if you normally leave feedback, and just say don't include me but otherwise I will automatically expect you to want to be in the draw so it, as I said it's only up until Sunday this weekend which is oh what date is it it's something like the 23rd 24th thereabouts of November 2024 just in case somebody's watching this in two years time you never know that's what's inside these boxes. Now I'm going to show you how I made them. So what you need is you need card, mirror card I've used, but you could use pattern card. There's no reason why you can't. You need your numbers, 1 to 24, and you need some pattern paper. Now I say pattern paper because if you use card for little boxes, they're going to be a little bit stiff. They're going to be a little bit hard, so um, these are perfect. I've done these with the measurements on for you in card, but only because, so you can screenshot them, they're a bit durable. Pegs, just to hold things in place if you need to. So first of all, let's make the boxes because you need to make 24 of them. You've got a mixture of three sizes. I'm going to put them on here so you can screenshot them. Um, actually, I better do them all like that because they are principally 
You need to do the same work on all of them. They are just different sizes. So you've got one and three quarters by three and a half, two inches by three inches, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So screenshot it like that and then you've got the measurements. But you do the same work with all of them. And that is you need you're going to have your oblong all the way along with those measurements two and a half by three inches these are score marks at half an inch this is half an inch that is three quarters that's half three quarters and half all of these ones in between are all half an inch all these edging ones which make the height of these boxes half an inches the only variations are these you know the actual size of it and you score your ha half an inch what i've done is i went on i had let's just show you this for example i went on and scored it half an inch then went round scored it half an inch so all the edges were half an inch that was the first thing i'd done no matter which one of these i'd done i scored them at half inches then with this one, I scored it at your two and a half by three and a half. Your half inch is done. And then, then this one is a three quarters of an inch, then a half inch, then a three quarters, then a half inch. Turn it round. These are already done because they're half inch. This one is half an inch, half an inch. Nope, half an inch. Is that three quarters? No, oh, what is that? Um, five eighths, five eighths. I'm sorry, I I should have wrote that down, and I haven't. So half an inch, five eighths, half an inch, five eighths, half an inch. And this one, because it's that way, that is going to be an inch, isn't it? Is that an inch? Um, that is. One and a quarter. Let me just drop that on there. So that is one and a quarter inch. Then you'll know that. That one is three quarters of an inch. And this one is one inch. I'm sorry about that. Um, my fault I, I should have should have wrote them down instead of just the main sizes so this one is half an inch which you've done all the way around and then it's one and a quarter inches so you've got your half an inch then another one and a quarter then another one half an inch then another one and a quarter and then your last half an inch and this one is half an inch then three quarters of an inch then half an inch, then three quarters of an inch, then half an inch again. This one is half an inch, then one inch, half an inch, one inch and half an inch. And then when you turn them round, this one is half an inch, one and a half inches. It's just, I'm going to do that. So sorry, I'm uh, not normally this disorganised. I normally try and organise myself a bit better than that. That's one inch. But for some reason, I wrote the other measurement down, didn't write this one down. So this one is half. Right, let me have another go at that. This one is one and three quarter by three and a half. So you score it at half an inch, one and a quarter, half an inch, one and a quarter, half an inch, turn it round, you've got half an inch, half, five eighths and half an inch. Oh, I'm so, I'm just messing this up. Five eighths, this is not five eighths, this is five eighths. Try again. Half an inch, one and a quarter, 
then half an inch, then one and a quarter, then half an inch. Turn it round, half an inch, five eighths, half an inch. This one is half an inch, then three quarters, then half an inch, then three quarters, and then half an inch. Turn it round, half an inch, one inch, half an inch. This one is half an inch, one inch, half an inch, one inch, half an inch. Turn it round and you've got half an inch, one and a half, and half an inch. And you're left with... Now these are all principally, like I said, I, they're all the same, basically the same size. So what you do is, after scoring all your parts, every which way... This corner gets cut off entirely. This corner gets cut off entirely. Now, you just need to sort of just round them off slightly. Not too much because you still want the boxes to close and be rather secure. But just, just slightly. Now, this is the one that you have to be careful with. You need to cut it up there and then down there. But you're not actually cutting it out because this is going to be a flap. It's going to tuck in the box afterwards. So these you cut the corners off. These you have to come in this way and this way. Don't cut it off altogether. Believe me, I've done that numerous times. You just get carried away with watching the TV or doing something else. Um, so you cut it up and across and then you just cut all the edges away just like you did here across there up there across there so you've got these little flaps and then down this end is exactly the same just cut these little edges off all the way so let me go through that again with you on this one you cut these corners off and then you're just going to just slant them all up so they like, you know, just nicely shaped. Then they fit in nice and you don't have the sharp edges. Now, when you come to this second one, so you've got that half inch, then you've got that one inch one. That's where you cut this one up. So again, cut it up, but cut it across as well. So you're going up and across, but you need to leave this one. So don't cut it down here. So up that one and across, up this one and across. Then you round it off there and round it off there, just like everything else is rounded off. And the same on this side. Edge it round it, or not edge, round it off. Edge it off there and that side, and the same on this side. And then when you come to this side, you're cutting it off up there and there. Make a slight point, not a direct point because you will lose that um, edging. And then when you just dab it, these flaps come into their own because they then tuck inside. And this one you can either cut just there or you can tuck it in. Now, because I wanted to glue it in place, I tucked it I didn't tuck it in because I then couldn't think. So I tucked those end flaps in and then just put a tiny dab of glue on there like that. So when they come to open it, they can actually just take the edges off and the card still stays intact, even though they've taken their centres out from their box number. So that's your boxes. Sorry about um, messing around with those measurements. But um, hopefully you understood that. Now on your card, you need a piece of card. It needs to be... Yeah, how did I know I wouldn't have done that neither? <laughs> 11 and a half inches by 5 inches. Now, this needs to be scored at four and a half inches, then five eighths, 
then five eighths and another five eighths and another one. So you've got four and a half inches, one, two, three, four at five eighths, and then you're left with your other four and a half inches. And then these fold like this. So you've got your central one like that, and then these come into their own. So these are flat ones. You've got your point, which is the center point, and then you've got that. And then your score pieces will, because I mat and layered them, you might not do that, but I did. So, you know, I'll give you the measurements just in case. Now, this is just a mirror card. You could use pattern card paper, like I said, four and a quarter by four and three quarters. I rounded the corners. I just thought it looked quite nice. I rounded all the corners on all of it. This one is three and three quarters, <coughs> excuse me, by four and a quarter. And this one is, this is the card piece. It's obviously folded and it's four inches by four and a half. This smaller one here, you just need one of that goes on there, on the inside, on the outside of the card. This one here, four and a quarter by four and three quarters, you need four of them because you're going to be using it there and on the inside and on the back. The first thing you need to do is on this outside, you need to glue this one together. So glue that and that's where your pegs come in. I can't do that, I wouldn't be able to show you that if I'd done that. So that glues together forming your box and it holds this up through the centre so it complete it keeps its shape. So that goes like that. And that is basically it. Now, there is a small piece here, which is five and a half by one eighth, and you need one scored in half and folded over this way. Now this, bearing in mind that is like that goes across here it's got the fold because obviously this is going to be creased even if it's glued it's still going to have a crease there and that sits there now this just strengthens it it just keeps the outside a little bit stronger for you you score it so it will sit there when it goes in and then these little ones are for the five eighths ones. They're all five and a half by half an inch and you need four. Obviously one, two, three, four, because that is for your centerpiece. So when you put it all together like this, if I move all this out of the way, so it's not quite so messy. This is the front. I used that first piece that you made four of. Then I put the card on there, on the top there. Then I used the second one, I put that on there. So that's that one. This one is that one that I've shown you. I decorated it again with just, just a one piece of pattern paper because I've done it with mirror cards. Just one piece of pattern paper, a bow and a greeting there. And then I placed all and put the numbers on there and then placed them on here. One tip is don't glue them until you've got them all exactly where you want them. Now, because they're all half an inch, they sit nice and comfortable on there. So you don't have to worry. This, I'd, some of these sizes are a little bit smaller because that was before I finally decided and settled on the half an inch. So you're getting the accurate sizes rather than me tearing my hair out and getting it wrong. So that's it. They're really nice. They are full, like I said. 
This particular one is just full of sequins, gems, some buttons, just different things like that. Uh, things that a crafter would use rather than getting sent maybe stuff that they wouldn't use. Make sure all your numbers are on there, all mixed up. It's a lovely little package for a crafter. It's also a nice greeting card so you can write in it and nothing goes to waste and it's really reasonable to make so that's it for today i'll just show you my special make it's actually um a i made this it's called a wreath of boxes and it's made by sam calcott so if you go on youtube and look up sam calcott then then type in wreath of boxes it's one she made a couple of years ago it's really a beautiful box sam does some lovely folds and um really beautiful things now what i've done is i've bought little things like little booties and things to go in each one so there will be something inside the six boxes and these are little head little headbands for newborns so um just things like that to go inside the boxes i've made a little miniature card there that i will write in and i put a chocolate egg in there for mum i would have filled it with maybe quality street or roses but i haven't actually been to the store yet to get any so i just took the packaging off of the chocolate orange and i put a chocolate orange in there i just put a little bit of paper in there just to wedge it in place so it's something for mum and little bits for baby and some money in the final box so that's just my make that i made for myself i just wanted to run by you so that's it for today i will catch you again probably next week because i've got a couple of other little short ones that um i've just done for myself just christmas things so i'll catch you then i will carry on working on the fancy fold but it's it'll be um a couple of weeks off yet okay so that's it now thank you everyone for still hanging in there with me um i do appreciate your support and i will catch you soon thanks then bye